Hi guys, I'm just going to show you how to get uh, a stereo sound from a mono audio file uh, in Adobe Audition 3.0. I've got my assistant here, so let's get started. Alright, so what I'm going to do is open up my uh, program, Adobe Audition 3.0. Now I don't use this program very much anymore, I prefer um, Cubase. But for those that do, I've got a, a neat trick um, to show you. Um, in uh, using the delay effect in Adobe Audition to create sort of a stereo sound. So what I've got here is uh, I've got my track um, with, with my uh, my audio file with three tracks uh, a bass guitar, a rhythm guitar and a melody. So I'll just turn I'm only going to deal with the melody here so I'll just turn it off turn the others off and I'll show you what the the melody is without any effects on it just so to give you an idea of what we're working with now if I add the rhythm guitar in, you'll hear the sound I'm going for. Now both of those tracks coming out uh, down down the, the center, mono, so they're kind of overlapping each other. So what I want to do is, is separate the um, melody guitar out. Um, and have it on each side. Now you could do this by recording say two guitars um, and running them side by side on a, a left and right pan or you could run a stereo um, a stereoizer, I forget what they're actually called um, <clears throat> uh, effect to do the same thing but often that's very um, uh, memory intensive and uh, it gets out of hand if you're using a lot of those. So this is a, a, a nice neat trick. So you use the delay function, and what you do is you go into um, the effects, um, you choose under the delay and echo um, menu, you choose the delay, and it's got a whole bunch of presets. Um, none of them are very, they're, they're all kind of average. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you what it is with just this random room ambience effect. Just turn that rhythm off. Alright, so um, what what that's doing, that's kind of acting as uh, just a, uh, a reverb, because reverb is just a whole series of short delays. Um, oh, sorry, we're going to be interrupted here by my, a nosy cat. So what you want to do um, in this instance uh, to create sort of the stereo effect is get one of the channels in the delay um, effect and drop it down to between sort of 10 and 30 milliseconds. And you want to turn that up to um, the to 100% wet, so you're getting no no um, dry signal out of the out of that channel. So just choose one; doesn't matter which, left or right. And then in the right channel, the other channel. So in this case, I've got the left 100% wet. In the other channel, you do 100% um, dry, which means you're getting the only the raw sound coming out um, the right channel. And it doesn't matter where this um, the delay time is because you're not getting any delay in that channel. So what you're doing is you're kind of splitting the channel up into into uh, a stereo, and having half of it coming down um, in in this case the right side, half of it coming down as as it would normally, and the other half on the left hand side is coming at 21 milliseconds later. And so what this does is it, it kind of creates a disconnect between the two um, channels, even though they are exactly the same. It's a, a disconnect of uh, a few milliseconds gives it that stereo sound. So it's like there's two guitars at the same time. So now I'll just toggle it on and off, and you can hear hear what it sounds like. So first it's off and on. You can hear how it goes out nice and wide. So what I'll do is I'll show you what that sounds like with the um, uh, rhythm guitar in the background as well. Oh, sorry, that was with the rhythm guitar in the background. I'll show you what it's like without the rhythm guitar in the background. So that's delay, sound wide, and that's mono. Now, uh, you, you can use this a number of times, you just have to be careful because if you're using the same delay uh, effect to create a stereo sound, all you'd be doing is doubling up. Um, so for instance, if you had two guitars and you ran this exact setting, it, they would just double on top of each other. So what you could do is run the opposite, so you could have the right channel set at um, 
21 milliseconds delayed, 100% wet, and the left channel 100% dry, and run it that way. Uh, so one channel like that, the other channel the original way. You could do that, you'll get a, a nice big wall of sound if, if that was the effect that you were going for. Um, but in this case, all I've got is the rhythm coming down the center and I wanted the melody guitar out to the sides and that was a really easy way of doing it. Um, I didn't have to record another guitar, run it out to the side. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> thanks for watching and I hope uh, that that kind of uh, gave you a, a nice help. Um, that certainly helped me when I was starting out um, with Adobe Audition. All right, thanks for watching.